Moving on. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky stated that Russia is now preparing a new offensive against Ukraine starting in late May or summer. But Kiev has a clear battlefield plan of its own. Well, speaking a day after the second anniversary of Russia's invasion, the Ukrainian president said that it was important for Kiev and its Western allies to remain united. He asserted that Ukraine's victory depends on continued Western support. Zelensky told the reporters that we will prepare for the assault. The assault that began on October 8th has not brought any results. I believe we, for our part, will prepare our plan and follow it. He said that 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed since 2022, giving the first official toll in more than a year. The Russian Foreign Ministry rejected, the, rejected these figures as untrue. Well, Zelensky said that true rotations would be critically important for the war effort and emphasized that Kiev needed to better prepare its reserve forces as well. Two years into the war, Moscow's troops bear down along the sprawling 960-kilometer front line in Ukraine's east and south. From shortages of artillery shells and the need for longer-range missiles to a lack of fresh troops, problems are piling up for Ukraine. Zelensky said that he was confident that the U.S. Congress would approve a major new batch of military and financial assistance that Ukraine needs. He added that the European Union had also rather promised one million ammunition shells, but they had only received 30% of that. Well, Russia secured its biggest battlefield gains since May 2023 this month as it captured the town of Avdivka, which Ukrainian troops retreated in a bid to avoid being surrounded there. Well, the Russian president said on Tuesday that the Russian troops would push farther into Ukraine to build on their success in Avdivka. On Sunday, the Russian Defense Ministry said that its forces had taken more advantageous positions near the town. Well, on Ukraine's battlefield intentions, Zelensky said that Kiev had a clear plan to counter Russian forces, but that he would not disclose details that could compromise it. Well, Kiev's troops conducted a much-wanted counter-offensive last year, but were unable to pierce Russia's defensive lines. Zelensky said that replacing his popular armed forces chief in a dramatic military shakeup this month was a part of his military strategy that would remain under wraps. He further said that earlier, Kiev's plans for last year's counteroffensive had ended up on a desk in Kremlin, and that is even before the operation started. But he did not elaborate on how that happened. He said that Kiev hopes to hold a summit in Switzerland this spring to discuss its vision for peace with its allies, adding that the peace blueprint would later be presented to Russia.